Osseous integration for transfemoral or above knee amputees is a novel approach where an implant is affixed directly into the residual femoral canal, comes out through an opening or an aperture in the skin, and then clicks in directly to a patient's prosthesis. It eliminates the need for a socket and all of the struggles and limitations that come there within. It allows patients with a really short residual limb to have an implant that can then drive a prosthesis in a way they couldn't before. Amputation care is something that we've done here at the Institute of Limb Preservation for many years now. Um, and so we're carrying on our tradition of excellence in amputation with osseous integration. Patients like eliminating the socket. Patients feel that they can interface with a prosthesis more rapidly. The amputee puts the prosthesis on, takes 15 to 30 seconds, and they're, they're off. Um, whereas with the traditional sockets, that process may take five minutes, it may take up to 10 minutes, and then the socket may shift around in position, it may loosen, may cause pain, may cause um, wound breakdown. There's a lot of potential issues with the socket that we're able to eliminate with osseous integration. The critical improvement in their quality of life is feeling the ground. And that feeling the ground, we oftentimes take for granted. Because if you can't feel the ground, it's hard to know where to stop your foot. If you can't feel the ground, it's hard to know what kind of surface you're walking on. If you can't feel the ground, you don't know where like the, a lip is or a ledge is. But when you can feel that, all of a sudden, that feedback you get without even really being aware of it, informs your gait, informs your walking. And people experience really less difficulty with that, less falls. And that's a tremendous advancement in somebody's life. The concept of osseous integration is really borrowing from dental implants. So for decades, dentists have put titanium screws into the jaw and built teeth implants off of that. Again, bringing a metal implant that's anchored into the bone through the gums, through the gingiva, to have it a dental implanted device. I'm a plastic surgeon. The only program that has plastic surgery involved in this process, and plastic surgery is really uh, integral to, to osseous integration because um, not only do we have to get the device in place, the device into the bone, but we also have to get the soft tissues to heal around that device, and that's crucial for being able to make this, this work. So the FDA-approved implant that we utilize here at the Institute for Limb Preservation offers a two-stage surgical approach. Surgery number one, is the implantation of the device into the residual femoral canal in combination with certain surgical techniques and bone grafting. And then there's a three to six month period where that device heals into the bone. And then at three to six months we come back and that's when we lift the soft tissues up um, to bring the soft tissues back over the bone, get them to heal to the bone, and then also to bring the device through the skin to be able to attach the prosthesis to that. So, so it's a time commitment from that standpoint, but it's also a time commitment beyond that point for the amputee because there is a lot of rehabilitation. So we, we stress when someone enters this process that it is a truly a process that can take many, many months. Consideration of osseous integration is a tremendous step. And I welcome anybody who's interested in the procedure to come and speak with me directly about it. There are patients with whom I have a consultation and it turns out not to be the right thing for them. But I would say that everybody who I've seen who's gone through this procedure has benefited from it in some way. And I have not met a single person who has had osseous integration who has regretted the experience.